Hey, welcome, my name is Oli, and today we will check this, this, and this. The Octaki Stenji mousepad, the Ghost Glides Focus mousepad, and the Endgame Gear EMC Plus mousepad. So, a roundup of three mousepads. Each mousepad are different from the others. So, let's get started with the Octaki Stenji mousepad. I will always put the full specification over here. So, this one was sent to me by OctaKeys, but I will give you my honest opinion about it. This pet is a limited edition by 500. I have here the white version, but there is also a black version. It comes whole in this box, and after unboxing, it doesn't come flat out. It's still today not completely flat. You will feel it in some area, and it's disturbing. The pet has solid stitches, but they are big and not flat. Regarding the surface, it has a similar behavior like the Sokushiro mouse pet. So a hybrid pad, it has a standard rubber base which does the job. The pad costs around 28 to 30 euros or dollars, so it's a low budget pad. This is a pad I only recommend if you like such type of anime design considering it's a limited edition. For competitive gaming, this is definitely not a pad I can recommend. But Octakis told me that they are working on a more competitive mouse pad with power on base, flat stitches, flat box and many more improvements. So, something that appeal more to the enthusiasts and competitive gamers. Definitely keep an eye on Octaki's upcoming mousepads. Next one, the Ghost Glides Focus mousepad. This one is compared to Octaki's Tenji, more oriented for the competitive gamers on budget, because for around 35 euros or dollars, you will have a solid, nice looking pet. The design alone shows the orientation of the pet, shooter games, G Pro X on it. You see for which player this pet is calling. The stitches are again big, but on the same level as the surface. The standard rubber base is solid, it has a good hybrid surface too, similar to the X-Way Pet Aqua Control Plus, so a good balance between speed and control. This is the pet which I have the best performance in Apex, I really enjoy playing with it, it's a big surprise for me. For that price, it's very solid, I really hope they will bring in the future other pet with some improvement, I see some potential in Ghost Glides. And finally, let's check the Endgame Gear EMC Plus or EMC for the smaller size. This is the pad I used the most the last few weeks. With its smooth surface and softness, poron base and control characteristics, this pad competes directly to the Artisan Zero. And this is for me nowadays the strongest competitor to the Artisan Zero. This one has the same quality level as Artisan but with a better price in a bigger size. For me, the EMC feels a little bit slower than the Artisan Zero Extra Soft and than the Little Gaming Gear Saturn Pro, but has a better feeling in dynamic movement. The biggest positive point of the end Game Gear EMC is the price. For 50 euros or dollars, you can have a similar Artisan Zero pad in a bigger size. Definitely one of the top tier mouse pads for this year. So, we are done with this small mouse pad roundup. What was your favorite one out of these three mouse pads? The Octaki Stenji with its nice anime design, the Ghost Glides for competitive players on low budget, or the Endgame Gear EMC, the better Artisan Zero alternative? Feel free to leave a comment below. That is for today. I hope you enjoy it. If so, please drop a like and sub to the channel. If you want more infos, you can also follow me on Twitter where I post some news and what is coming next. Thanks for watching and as always, see you next time. Bye bye.